people that is making this word to go to the globe one prayer lord in whatever capacity you desire to use me i am ready and i'm available go ahead and pray please go ahead and pray take it seriously no moving around please pray everyone pray zaria make sure you are praying Go ahead and pray. Sali barato savragade belegade bakasiata. In whatever capacity someone is praying, is Esther praying? Is Elijah praying? Is Abraham praying? Is Gideon praying? Naomi, are you praying? Ruth, are you praying? Mary, are you praying? Preparing to birth Jesus. Elizabeth, are you praying? John the Baptist, are you praying? Apostle Paul, are you praying? Everybody has a role to play. The mother at home has a role to play. The banker has a role to play. The kingdom billionaire has a role to play. The politician has a role to play. The chef, the caterer has a role to play. The technical person has a role to play. The leadership consultant has a role to play. The judiciary have a role to play. The sports people have a role to play. Pray everyone. Father, find a worthy vessel in me. I am a vessel that is available. I will not be careless. I will not be godless. Someone is praying. Regardless my background, Find a precious vessel in me. I submit myself to learn. I submit myself to honor fathers. I submit myself to learn from mentors, from colleagues, from contemporaries. Whatever you want to do, Lord, you can do through me. Whatever you want to say, Lord, you can say through me. Whoever you want to lift, Lord, you can lift through me. Go ahead and pray. Hear me, hear me. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to go and listen to this message and give everybody you can find. This is a prophetic message to the body of Christ that this is truly the generation. What will make us different from other generations is not more fasting, wrong. Not more prayer, wrong not more bible study wrong it is the privilege of an election of grace with the humility of heart this is a generation that god will use because we are the generation that has chosen willingly to hide behind the cross and to recognize that all that will be wrought in righteousness through us will happen because the price has been paid our price is not to pay what Jesus has paid. Our price is to use these spiritual activities in righteousness with every depth of humility to align ourselves that by the mercy of God, we can through the stamina of prayer, fasting, obedience, consecration, we can receive delivery from the realm of the spirit where it resides to the realm on earth where it is needed.
this is your assignment. Any other thing after that, the devil has given you a burden that has no rewards. I have studied my scripture. I have learned from people who produce results. And by the privilege of God's grace, the bit that we have produced here, I can tell you with audacity and with the confidence of scripture, legalism, pride, self-righteousness, believing that it is on account of what we have done, it will not earn us anything. We will only waste our time and be shouting week after week until we become old and watch in shock that God's program is never birthed. Hear me. We are not better than the generation of the fathers before us. It is simply an election of grace. So I speak to every warrior. I speak to everyone who is part of this army. The reason for our excelling has never, will never be because we paid a greater price. There is a price to pay, but the price is the price of delivery, not the price of creation. When David held the sling, that sling is like his fasting. That sling is like his Bible study. That sling is like his consecration. That sling is like his prayer. But the sling in itself cannot bring down Goliath. It is the revelation of the name and the one who represents us and who we represent that made that happen. Let it be known to you, O Israel, that the same one you have crucified has today been exalted as Lord and Christ. And while they heard it, they were caught to the heart. Behold their threatenings, Acts chapter 4, and grant that signs and wonders be wrought. They were praying, but they said signs and wonders be wrought, not because of our prayer, through the holy name of your son. And the building shook, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. One final prayer. Father, grant me a revelation of Jesus above and beyond my spiritual activities. Grant me a revelation of the cross, the blood that flowed from Calvary's tree, that this is the basis for every healing. This is the basis for my prosperity. It is good to give, but no amount of giving is enough to program favor on your life. No amount of fasting, no amount of piety and religiosity and self-righteousness is enough to make you qualified enough to host a revival coming. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Go ahead and begin to pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit, everyone. Go ahead and pray in the Spirit. Let that which you have received rest in your spirit, man. This is Koinonia. Rate bara sobrande bala sobreke parato shabrande gebela tosiata. Someone is praying. Elemana kete bras kabala do shabrati kabaranto siadabas. Blessed be the God. Now, Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we worship Him in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. The Bible says, Now the Lord is that spirit. He's not the only spirit, but he is that spirit. That spirit that brings translations in the spirit, that lifts people. You see, without the presence factor, there is no church. It is beyond the paraphernalia. It is beyond the activities. What brings power to the things that we do? is the presence factor. You can fake power, but you cannot fake presence.
for your name is holy holy lord for your name is holy Let it be from the depth of your spirit. 